So I was driving to work the other day and in my area there are some hills and on those hills you can see villages. And as I saw one of those villages, the first line from the song Che Sara came to mind. And that first line goes Paese mio che stai sulla collina. Paese, village, mio is of mine or my. Che stai is standing, sulla collina is on the hill. And there and then I thought, well, this was a request from a viewer of the channel. What channel? This channel. Ciao and welcome to LIS Learn Italian Songs, Learn Italian with Songs. Io sono Pietro and today we are going to translate the song Che Sara. This is video number two, translation and explanations. Check out video number one with an original arrangement of this song plus the original Italian lyrics and English translation subtitles that will be linked here or here or in the comments below. After realizing that that song was a request from a viewer from the channel, I started thinking about an arrangement for that tune. When I went to work and I had a 30 minute break mid morning, I went into a room where there's a piano and I started putting my ideas on the piano. I recorded a voice memo for the introduction to the tune, then the verse and then the chorus and the tune was well and ready. Only that when I came back home and I looked at the comments of the channel, this was not the song that the viewer had requested. It was another one. But still, I thought, I have the song ready, why not make a video about it? The song we are talking about is Che Sarà, made famous by the band Ricchi e Poveri and by singer José Feliciano. Now, why did I say made famous by? Well, because the people who wrote the song are Jimmy Fontana, Carlo Pes and Italo Greco, as far as the music is concerned, and Franco Migliacci, who is the lyricist of this song. And we will talk about Franco Migliacci in just a few minutes. Ricchi e Poveri and José Feliciano sang this song at the Festival di Sanremo in 1971. And the song placed second at this famous Italian singing contest. José Feliciano is a singer from Puerto Rico, but since 1971 he has been a very well-known figure in the Italian musical scene. In recent years he joined with Ricchi Poveri once again to sing a newer version of this song and you can hear the uh, Spanish influence in his way of singing and sometimes he gets an Italian word wrong and we are going to talk about it when we go through the translation of the lyrics. Ricchi e Poveri, I already spoke about them in another video dedicated to one of their songs, Mamma Maria, and I'll leave a link here or here or in the description below. Go and check it out. Let me just add that the idea for their name came from another Italian singer, Franco Califano. Uh, Franco Califano loved their music and once he told them, well, you are rich in your hearts, but poor in your pockets and the name Ricchi, which means rich as an adjective, e poveri, which means and poor as an adjective, seemed like a, a catchy and interesting name. And from then on, they were known as Ricchi e poveri or i Ricchi e poveri. Now, the magic of this song, in my opinion, stands in the synergy between the very simple yet powerful melody and the simple yet very deep lyrics. If you read the lyrics, they're not just about leaving your home village, but they're also about leaving the place where you spent your childhood or your youth and the place where everything feels safe and warm and comfortable and venturing into the world. This song will touch the hearts of many people who have emigrated from their own country to go and look for more opportunity elsewhere. So if you have Italian origins, chances are that there are people in your family that will be touched by the lyrics of this tune. But this song was also very moving for Italians who had to move from the small provincial reality of the small town or small villages in order to go look for a job or for more opportunities in Italy's bigger cities. So let me know in the comments below if you or a member of your family has a history of having to leave Italy or having to leave the small town in order to go to a bigger city and what 
this song means to this person. Now on to a word or two about the author of the lyrics. Franco Migliacci is a real colossus in the world of the Italian song lyrics. He wrote the lyrics of some very, very famous songs. Now let me name just one of these songs. He co-wrote the lyrics of Volare. Actually, its real name is Nel Blu di Pinto di Blu, which Franco Migliacci co-wrote with the singer Domenico Modugno. Upon researching about him on the internet, I found out that he wrote some songs that I would never had guessed that he had written, namely some children's songs which took part to the children's singing competition that takes place every year in Italy and it's not the Festival di Sanremo Junior but it's the Zecchino d'Oro and some of these songs I used to sing with my daughter a few years back when she was smaller we used to sing along and Franco Migliacci wrote them but he also wrote some songs which are part of my childhood and these are opening themes for some famous cartoons that I used to watch as a child. The opening theme of a cartoon in Italian is called Sigla. Sigla is the opening theme of a TV show and Sigla di cartone animato means the opening theme of a cartoon. Cartone animato is cartoon in Italian. And I found out that Franco Miglia wrote the lyrics of some of my favorite cartoon opening themes from when I was a child. Now this is by no means a complete introduction about Ricche Poveri or Jose Feliciano or Franco Migliacci, but let me use it to give you some suggestions. Now we spoke about the Festival di Sanremo, we spoke about the Zecchino d'Oro, the children's singing competition, we spoke about the Sigle di Cartoni Animati, and these are all topics that I can expand on, and if you're interested, please tell me in the comments below. Now on to the translation of the song, and I will put the translation here, on this side of the screen, while some important words or phrases will be highlighted in the lower portion of the video. And let's start from the title. The title Che Sarà means what will it be? There actually is no question mark, so the title could either mean what it will be or what will it be. In Italian there is no difference in word order between the affirmative sentence and the question. And the first line, as I told you before, is Paese mio che stai sulla collina. Paese means a village. Paese could also mean a country, like a nation or a state. But in this case, of course, it means a village. Mio is my, so oh village of mine. Che stai sulla collina. Stare means to stay or to be somewhere. Oh village of mine. Standing sulla collina means on the hill. Collina is hill. Second line, disteso come un vecchio addormentato. Disteso means lying down. Come means like or as. Un vecchio is an old man. Vecchio is old man. Addormentato, and you can hear the root of the word dormire, which is to sleep. Addormentato means asleep. So lying down like an old man who is asleep or like a sleeping old man. And then it proceeds la noia, l'abbandono, il niente, son la tua malattia. La noia is boredom, l'abbandono is abandonment, il niente is nothingness, the nothing we could say. Sono la tua malattia, so these things, boredom, abandonment and nothingness, Sono, they are, la tua, your, malattia is illness. The last line of the verse is, paese mio, o village of mine, ti lascio, I leave you, or I am leaving you. Io vado via, I go away, literally, but I am going away. And then there's the very catchy chorus, che sarà, che sarà, che sarà, what will it be, what will it be, what will it be, or what will be, what will be, what will be? Che sarà della mia vita? What will be della, of, the, mia vita, my life? So what will be of my life? Chi lo sa? Chi is who? Sa is knows 
and this lo is it. Who knows it? Chi lo sa? Who knows it? So far tutto, forse niente. So far means so I can. Literally, I know how. Far is to do. So how I know how to do and far is short form for fare, do. So I know how to do. Tutto is everything. Forse niente. Or maybe. There's no or but forse is maybe. Niente is nothing. And then da domani. Da means from. Domani means tomorrow. So from tomorrow. Si vedrà. This is an impersonal construction and it means it will be seen or something like that. Uh, from tomorrow we will see. Si vedrà. Vedrà is future tense of the verb vedere and it means we'll see. So from tomorrow we will see or it will be seen. And then the last two lines. E sarà. Sarà quel che sarà. E means and. Sarà means it will be. So and it will be. Sarà once again. It will be quel che sarà. What it will be. The second verse is amore mio, ti bacio sulla bocca. Amore mio is oh my love or love of mine. Amore is love. Ti bacio is I kiss you. Bacio is I kiss. Ti is you. Sulla bocca is on the mouth. Su is on. La is the. Join them together and you have sulla with double L. Bocca is mouth. The mouth, che fu la fonte del mio primo amore. The mouth, che, that, fu is was, passato remoto is the name of this verbal tense, was, la fonte, la fonte is the source, del mio, of my, primo amore. Primo is first, amore is love. So, I kiss you on the mouth, that was the source of my first love. Then he proceeds, ti do l'appuntamento. Literally, I give you the date. Do is I give, ti is you. L'appuntamento is the date or the appointment. Come e quando, non lo so. Come means how, e quando is and when. Non lo so, I don't know it. Non is not, so is I know. Lo is it. So I don't know how and when. I don't know. Ma so soltanto che ritornerò. Ma so, but I know. Ma is but, so is I know. Soltanto is just or only, but I only know che, that, tornerò, future tense of tornare, I will return, I will come back. And then there's another chorus with the first two lines that they're the same as the previous one. Che sarà, che sarà della mia vita, chi lo sa? What will be of my life, who knows, or who knows it? Con me porto la chitarra. Con me is with me. Con, with, me, me. Porto, I bring, or I take, but in this case I bring. La chitarra is the guitar. So I'm bringing my guitar with me. La chitarra. Se la notte piangerò. Says if la notte is the night, but it means at night in this case. Piangerò, future tense of the verb piangere, to cry. So if I cry at night, or if I will cry at night, we say in Italian. Una nenia di paese. Nenia is a way to say a lullaby, or it could be one of those children's songs which are very repetitive, maybe on two notes, like na 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 na. Di paese, it means of village. So, a village lullaby. Suonerò, I will play. Now, if you listen to the recent version featuring Ricchi Poveri and José Feliciano, he says, una niña di paese canterò. And niña is a, a Spanish word that means a girl or a female child. So, it's strange. He's saying, I will play a small girl, something like that. It's, it sounds funny. Instead of saying, una nenia di paese suonerò, he says, una niña di paese suonerò. And now on to the last verse, and it says, 
gli amici miei son quasi tutti via. Gli amici miei is the friends of mine. So my friends, son is short for sono, they are. Quasi means almost. Tutti is all, so every one of them. Via is away. So my friends, they're almost all gone away, almost all of them. Following line, e gli altri and the others, gli altri, the others, partiranno, will leave or will depart in the sense of going somewhere else, dopo me, dopo is after and me is me, so and the others will leave after me. And then it says peccato, pity or too bad, perché stavo bene, perché is because in this case, perché can also mean why, but in this case it means because. Stavo bene. Stavo bene means I felt fine. I had a good time. In loro compagnia literally means in their company. Oh, too bad because I, I had a really good time with them. I, I felt good with them. Ma tutto passa, tutto se ne va. Ma is but, tutto is everything. Passa means passes, but everything passes. Tutto, everything, se ne va. Now, forget about se ne and focus on va. Tutto va means everything goes. Se ne va is when something or someone goes away on his or her own um, and it carries this sense of something going away and never having the chance of coming back. Like time that passes and that goes itself away, so to say. And the last choruses are just repetitions of the first one, uh, che sarà della mia vita chi lo sa, what will be of my life, who knows. So far tutto, forse niente, I can do everything, I know how to do everything, or maybe nothing. Da domani si vedrà, from tomorrow it will be seen or we will see. E sarà, and it will be, sarà quel che sarà, it will be what it will be. So if you like this video, if you found it useful, please give it a thumb up, pollice su mi piace, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when a new video of my channel comes out. Why not browse through my old videos to see if there's something that can be of interest for you? Share the links to my videos on your social media with people who like you are interested in the Italian language, music and or culture. You can always donate if you're feeling particularly generous. You can offer me an espresso on coffee and I'll leave the link below or you can even donate by PayPal. Your likes, your comments and your donations of course are very very useful for me to keep on making these videos. They take a lot of time to make. All of your suggestions are always welcome and I'll see you on the next video of LIS Learn Italian Songs, Learn Italian with Songs. Ciao!